10.39 to play in period one. Here we go. Nelson is going to square up with Jamie Devan. He gets in tight. A couple of shots he takes quick. Devan lines him up. Well, Devan's got to use his reach here on, on this guy. Nielsen, tough customer. A couple of strong ones, a body blow, and right back into the face. And Devan has him not in tight, and he's taken to the ice. He's going to try and bring it down the wall and can't. And now Abbott gets tangled up as Paquette gets an opportunity the other way, dives in and crashes into the net. And T.J. Brennan gets into a push and shove after he gives Paquette a little stick action. But Abbott got all tied up with the linesman. Gave an opportunity back the other way. Well, Paquette goes hard to the net and he tries to pull and drag the puck around McIntyre, but he kind of went in there with some reckless abandon and when McIntyre knocked the puck off his stick, he charged right into the net, knocked it off its moorings. Back up the wall it comes. Down into the face-off circle, but no farther as the Marlies are able to clear this one and a two-on-one with Ashton. Back the other way with Smithson. Ashton scores! Carter Ashton right in the top shelf. Put it away. He does an excellent play of the loose puck in the defensive zone while killing the penalty. And instead of firing it all the way down, he made sure he was on a weird angle. He chipped it to himself. He chases it down, and I think the goaltender got fooled. I think he thought that Carter Ashton was going to slide it across to his mate Smithson, and as a result gets caught flat-footed and a nice wrist shot, and we've got a one nothing lead for the Toronto Marlies. The pass and sends it right to Andrew McWilliam, who comes back across, well, nearly got back across the blue line, but he was pursued by Richard, and they have to retreat and try it again. Here's Bodie across the blue line. That's Crescenzi going to the net, picks it up, scores! Crescenzi knocks it past. Good lift just to make it 2 0. But this all starts with Troy Bodie. He's on a bad angle, but he knows if you shoot the puck into the pillows of the goaltender, chances are pretty good you're going to get a rebound. And that's exactly what happens right out into the slot area. And Crescenzi wastes no time on the stick and off and past the goaltender and a 2 0 lead for the Toronto Marlies. Trying to tighten things up in center ice. Picked up Connolly, getting some space, pops it in, picked up, scored. Nemesnikov might get credit there. Yeah, he bangs this one in, no question yeah. about it. As Petter Granberg goes down after Connolly, you know, comes from the half wall, walks across the blue line, and then he gets a little open space. He goes to wind up and wire the shot, and it goes off the right leg of the, of the defender in Petter Granberg, but Nemesnikov is right there, Johnny on the spot to bang in the loose puck. Club likes to use its speed. Back up along the glass, rides the rail. Out the other side, wide of the mark on the shot. Picked up by Duco, not out. Sergey gives it along to Salvatore. Off a couple of bodies and it rolls right onto the stick of Connolly and McIntyre stands in for a good save. Right out front and on the doorstep, untouched but unable to knock it home was Jeff Walker back the other way. Ross fired it at the goaltender and he caught it up in the armpit. As he took a whack right out front of Drew McIntyre. Long shot off net, but McIntyre caught it in the glove and hung on anyway. Ashton looks at it, comes back, three Marlies tight in. Abbott the shot, rebound. Ashton reaching for it, had the wide open cage, but could not get to the puck. Comes loose right back to the crunch. Another one fired in, loose puck, McIntyre scrambling for it and is able to cover it up as he gets the fortuitous whistle again. Trying to work it off the boards too, get some help. Cross ice, up high, that shot doesn't get through. Tyler Biggs, and a pop, and a drop, and Drew McIntyre will argue that one. And so the original shot comes, and it's Angelita standing at the left of Drew McIntyre, and if it's his stick that gets on the puck, I believe it looks like it could be up above his, or up above the crossbar. It's a goal. It's got to be conclusive. Syracuse back, they come. They want to get that full speed engine in motion. Crescenzi steals it away, and Bodie comes back across the blue line, fires it in, and the goaltender comes up with a credible save on Troy Bodie. And they'll get it. McIntyre plays it along. Brennan 
whiffed on that one. Has to go after it again. Picked up. They've got Rankin out front. Shot scored. On this play, I think the puck stuck to the ice right there. You see a little wet area, and I think Brennan, when he goes to shoot it, it sticks to the ice. A turnover, and a, one little quick pass, and Rankin threw the pads of Drew McIntyre. From the crunch, two on one, back the other way. Nemesnikov waiting for the pass. Shot scored. Connolly drilled one over the shoulder of McIntyre. Levo tries to steal it back the other way, but Labrie comes in with some help. Paquette across the line, leaves it to Labrie, backhanded, he scores. Over the glove side pad of Drew McIntyre, and now struggling, 5-2. Bodie brings it across the line, here's Duco, flips one and he scores! Mike Duco, right back at it. His first goal of the year. As 5-3 now the score. Right off the ensuing faceoff after the Syracuse Crunch grab a 5-2 lead. It's chipped to Bodie and he just lays it in the middle and Mike Duco picks it up and he fires the wrister from about 28 feet out and he beats the goaltender to the far side. A bit, but it does shake loose to the Crunch and back up high it comes. Termina sends it in, shot, rebound, Nemesnikov drills it home to make it 6-3 with a power play goal. 